There's uh, some progress on the uh, Rags to Riches Ure Depot kit. I've added, I'll just use this Harry Potter wand of mine, added a uh, piece of board here so that, um, and on the other side, so that when I'm putting these together, I've got a good area of um, surface glue that I can apply. And the glue that I'm using is the uh, Loctite gel super glue, making a, um, things go along a lot, lot faster. Now this is the, uh, the rear side. I've done one part of the roof with the shingles. I'm still uh, leaving this piece off at the moment so that I can do um, animation movements and some more uh, uh, details to go inside like the, uh, the chair. I've got the safe over there and uh, the desk. So there's a lot more details to go in here. The other thing I've done, I've glued the uh, doors in there so that I can see that side of it because this is the side that I'm going to be viewing this side here so when you're viewing I'll at least be able to see those doors through there the lights are in there and just on the end you can see that I've made the opposite side of the door look like it's all uh, the same as the other side uh, the electrics are all in there for the uh, for the lighting I got the furniture in and the little light there with a surface mount uh, lead in it there for a fancy light inside there. I've done uh, some of my own curtains just out of paper. That's a side you don't see so much. Uh, and then down below I've got the uh, Aspen Models Telegraph uh, operator there and uh, details that I put inside there as well and details inside on this uh, other part which is the waiting room but fitting that curve on there a little bit tricky but gee this is a great kit Joe Fuss has done a wonderful job and you can see where I've done the lighting in there I just cut a piece away to fit it in that won't be seen hoping to get an animation I'll get this door to slide with the guy opening and closing the door and I've got another figure that's going to go on a bench I've made some other bits and pieces excuse me the figures and the bench it's a banter get to um, some more bits and pieces to go in The shingles, these are the stick and peel, very good. Um, I researched the photographs and uh, rather than the brown roof, I found that there's been a grey uh, gray roof in a colour photograph uh, that I've found. Uh, so I'm going to go with the greyish look. So what I've done is I've done a um, uh, like an oxide red base two greys and a driftwood or local paints um, onto these to uh, get variations so that's where I'm up to at the moment this is an absolutely beautiful kit I'm enjoying building this so much so thanks very much Joe Fuss you've done a wonderful job with this everything fits together perfectly all I'm doing there with a uh, little file is uh, just taking off the cut marks when I'm taking them out of the uh, uh, the sprue, the boards, just filing off the little tongue and that getting it smooth and everything fits perfectly. This is the uh, super detail lace curtains that I'm using from Builders in Scale they're quite nice so I've put those up in the window there 
and the uh, no, no curtains down below because I want to be able to see inside there. Now that's just doing the uh, the brackets, and then I'll have to do the uh, the shingles. I've added the shingles on there, and uh, slightly different way that I've built some parts of this, but uh, following the instructions on the kit. Um, you know, they were saying to bog that I've just cut a strip of the um, uh, shingles and added that there to fair that out rather than filling it up with uh, squadron putty then there'll be the roof parts uh, going on there these bits and uh, the shingles then the decking but following the instructions it's just they're just very good instructions you can't go wrong uh, the only other trick which I've done there is um, you can see that some of the parts there I'm numbering them as they've got the numbers on them as well as using the, um, the sheet number which in this case there is P64SE so uh, just putting the you know, numbers that helps anyone who wants to build this, uh, this kit.